I was a young woman when my journey toward the locket began. Captain of the Barnacle of the Sea, I keep my promise. For beating the gruesome Grinwalda, I bequeath to you my ship. From that day on, the crew and I vowed to sail the world, spreading joy, love, and peace. treasure found by my people and now I gift it to you for helping my village it's beautiful thank you <sighs> what intrigued me most about guiding the barnacle of the sea was the library the captain collected along his journeys Pawkite, a source of power so amazing that it can change the world huh if this is true, we could make an even bigger difference. After much searching, I discovered a Pockite source in the place that would soon be known as Littleton. of the Pockite could be controlled by gears. With the right mechanics, it would shrink the locket bearer. use of the locket, some Pockite power was transferred to whatever was shrunk. If the locket was used too much, it would need more Pockite to refuel it. To ensure the locket was properly powered, I had to remain near the Pockite source. I hereby proclaim this the town of Littleton! <laughs> My greatest responsibility was protecting the Pockite. I alone could know the secret, lest villains pursue the power. I guarded the hidden location of the tunnels that lead to the Pockeye. We sailed the seas together, and she was always meddling with a magic locket, keeping the power all to herself. It wasn't that hard to find Prudence's Pockite stash. She thought that keeping it secret was protecting it, but her being alone made her an easy target. <laughs> no, Grunwalda! The Pockite isn't stable! My precious Pockite! Don't touch it! Please! <laughs> Little sweet as sarsaparilla prudence must have excavated the cave, but she never found me. Ye <laughs> <laughs> be a feisty little scallywag, just like prudence. That's because I am like her. I'm a pocket too. Then you'll pay prudence's debt. Okay, but let them go. This is between you and the pockets. Ah, fine. Go back to your mother's. 
But I'm a pocket, too! So am I! Samesies! The feisty one was trying to trick me, was she? Genie, autopilot mod quad to me and initiate protocol annoying fly. Sure thing, Polly. Who said that? <laughs> yes! What is that? Where did it come from? Oh, that's right. I guess you've never seen a mod quad before. On my command, the mod quad will, um, shoot poison darts at your nose. <laughs> yeah, and it'll give you uh, chronic toe blisters. And a case of never-ending hiccups. And make your cuticles look terrible. Mod quad, attack her. Oh, <laughs> no, you don't. <laughs> Talk to me at once, ya horn swoggler! We have to help 